Ready? Uh, yo, yeah. You saw the last um, bullshit that happened in America. This police officer that sat on the, put his knee on yeah. the guy's neck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the guy was crying, was, yeah. It's straight up murder, isn't it? But it, it's like that's the new, no? That's not the new norm in America. That was always happening. Yeah, to yeah. blacks in America. Don't think, oh, this, because the last, what, two, three years? With this gray, this guy now, you have Trayvon yeah. Martin, you have a lot of things happening, yeah? And now, people just getting upset, yeah? And talking about, is this happening in America? Why is this happening? Blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. This has been happening in America from the beginning. Mm -hmm. It only happened, it only so happens now because everybody have camera so we can film it. Yeah, and social media. It's yeah. only, it's because it's on film now. Why this uproar is happening. But don't get it fucking twisted. This always happening in America. This, we, we talk about how racist are you on the last video. And maybe... Your racist, yeah, your racism is towards maybe towards one person, yeah. It's like you might hate me, yeah, as a black guy, and vice versa, I might hate yeah. you as a white guy. Racism in America, it was it, it, it grew together because from the whites go there and you know kill off the Indians and. The Indians were black there, you understand this? Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Yeah. And they started to kill, rape, steal, all what Europeans do to America, isn't it? And black was intertwined in that system, in that society coming mm -hmm. up. And black, white always feel superior. So the more black people climb, the more white feel like, oh, they should keep them down. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. Because they always like to look back and say, oh, 50 years ago, 100 years ago, you were like, yeah, second class citizen. They don't want to accept now that, listen, <laughs> shit changed. And they don't want to believe that. They don't want to see it. But all this violence that is happening now, it happened five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. But there wasn't so much social media. Everybody have, everybody have a recording device in their hands now. So they're just showing the world what is happening. Now... People start to burn shit down, yeah? And loot. Because you're burning a store down and some TV inside it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. People do what people do. And white people also go inside it and take shit out. Yeah. That's it. You see on Facebook, so white woman. So. Yeah, yeah, people so from other states, woman. other states coming to hey, I'm happy protest to just to fucking loot. Yeah, just to loot. It is what it is. When free stuff start give away, black and white, become a part of it and now those who are in society who have actors and all that texting they should not loot they should protest but not loot you are you are uh, perturbed yeah you are angry about the looting but you're not angry about the killing <laughs> yeah that's yeah. my point you, you completely miss the killing but now you want to talk about the looting. Nobody give a fuck about the looting because everything insure. That's a fact. You cannot run a store in America without insure. The people want yeah, to see yeah. insurance. Everything go insurance come and replace it. That's that, that's just how it is. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm saying I'm concentrating on the murder. Yeah. Yeah. And now it now it's in um, um New York. The protest is in New York. It's in Washington and it's in LA. Uh, I'm not sure if it was true, but right before we started uh, podcasting, I saw mm. like a video of people that they actually broke into the White House, but I'm not sure if no, that's real. No, 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 that, that, that's I'm not, not sure real. if that's, that's real. Not real. <laughs> so, in the White House? Hell no. The because, White House is the most secured um, house on this fucking planet. <laughs> yeah. That's not why it says I'm not sure. So. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. That's, I mean. Bef it, around the White House, on the White House lawn and all that shit. Yeah. 
it's not only secured the building around the White House and some square block I think all belong to the state, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Even if those for you to live um say a kilometers from the White House, they have to vet you. They have to go in your back door. You cannot just go to the White House to close to the White House and say, Oh, I want to live that I can see the yeah, White House yeah, yeah. though. You know, it's some work like that. So I swear to God <laughs> nobody can break in that White House bullshit. There was this guy a couple of years ago jumped the fence and something. But that was stage. You understand? That was just to try to scare Obama or something. Yeah. You cannot jump nowhere there. Right now they might looking at me because they think I'm too close to the White House and I'm here in Europe. Yeah. That's how that's how yeah, yeah. paranoid they are about it. But back to the killing shit. Police, yeah, police will just because they, they they are given the green light. Yeah, don't think police officers don't know. If then if they know there would be a repercussion, there would be um some retaliation, they wouldn't do it. No, well, exactly. And every month or every two months is this shit happen. But I have to be objective again. No, there's a race war going on in America. I wonder who's orchestrating it. Because there was this the, the, again, everybody can film everything. I saw they they they're running filming this guy who he had on a mask thing and he had a black umbrella. Yeah? And he was going around breaking windows. Boom boom boom. And people saw filming and saw chase behind him and said, Who are you? He turned out to be a police officer. Yeah, yeah, that shit happens a yeah. lot. Yeah. <laughs> police officer doing that shit. You understand? Causing more mayhem than other people. So there is an agenda to cause a race war because now the race war actually begin. We stop talking about the war that is going on in the Middle East with Iran, yeah. China, uh, etc. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like, it's like <laughs> that's a distraction. Nobody talking about that anymore. Everybody like this shit, which is which is um, which is fucked up in itself. But there's something much bigger going on. Yeah, yeah. When I saw that police officer, and it, it, it is not a myth. Yeah, it is not a conspiracy. He no, was no. there breaking the windows and people attack him. So who you? We nobody recognize you and you acting by yourself. Just why you mask up like that with umbrellas yeah, not raining? Yeah, I saw like I, I checked like uh, Tim Cass. He's like a journalist kind of guy who tries to be uh, mm. more detached from like uh, the news, like news usually is. And he also said like. Um, there's a lot of people that uh, he, he said that he went to like protest too because he's a journalist you know yeah. he, he's like he used to be like the skater dude and he's just like my age you know like mm. a little more detached from TV and, and uh, uh, what's it called mainstream media and he's as, also as like should be. I've, I've been to a lot of protests where it's like a lot of left leaning people you know and they're all like scrawny guys or like they're, they're typical people and then you have like this one 40, 50 year old buffed as fuck dude standing there uh, shouting the same stuff. Well, everybody knows like you're, you're probably a fucking cop. Oh, you know, like that shit happens a lot there. Yeah. Agent so. provocateurs. That's what they call him. Agent provocateurs. Because no matter what happen, people profit. In this fucking um, Wuhan virus thing, the top five richest people on the planet almost double their their money you understand mm. this guy oh this guy not buffett oh this guy who War, warren amazon. buffett no not warren buffett oh. the guy who won amazon i think uh george um he is projected Jeff bezos yeah, bezos he's a fucked up leader. yeah he's projected to be in the next 20 years or 15 years the first trillionaire yeah in the next 20 years trillion years which is a fucking lie if certain family member on this planet so I won't call a name because I love my little YouTube channel. If certain family member get up and look on their asset, what they have, and when they look, they see Bezos' money that they are now, the, the money that Bezos have is what they have in their possession. They might kill themselves. Under, under the mattress. Yes, <laughs> because they might kill themselves. They might be like, I am poor now. The money that Bezos has chicken shit to what some family members have yeah yeah i know those I know fucking the bankers yeah. dude you, nobody talk about them <laughs> you understand but we know basically it's like most of the youtube channels that actually 
talk about that shit, they always have like this backup channel. Yes, because so, at any yeah. time they can get taken down. So I don't, so. I, I don't talk about those people because I want my thing to, to pop off, isn't it? Yeah. But I don't yeah, probably won't find you, yeah. but it's smart to just leave it as it is. Yeah, yeah. leave them alone. Yeah. But yeah, all, all this beers on and Bill Gates on their richest man, fuck all that. There was never the richest guy, mm. never at no time at all, isn't it? There's just one one person that's like really rich, like that's been portrayed in the uh, mainstream media that I kind of trust, and that's Elon Musk. Yeah, Musk. And that's yeah. simply because he's 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 an complete, inventor. He's way too uncomfortable with with he, stuff that he doesn't like. That he just he, he's yeah, had yeah, like he, interviews. Yeah, he on Twitter. He curse on Twitter the other day. Yeah, he's, he's like him. a meme guy, you know. Yeah, he's, he's just like, yo, no, you guys fucking around. Isn't he's he? fifty. He, he had like he has a baby with Grimes now, you know, which really, I love that chick. She makes beautiful music, and she's, she, I, I love her. She's mm. amazing, and he just made made a kid with her, you know. As you and he has like back. these interviews on news, and and he's like half through the interview, he's like, yeah, if you're not mm. gonna ask me a question that hasn't been asked a hundred times, right, I'm gonna hang up, and just hangs up because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody I, I like he's yeah. just more honest, you know. And then you have like Jeff, Jeff Bezos, who's like, like, oh, I'm gonna care for the workers, and in the meantime, that his fucking workers are dying, you know. Coming into his fucked man. up, yeah. It's, mm, some bullshit. But uh, America is burning, it's just beginning. Yeah, I, uh, like <laughs> the guy which I just talked about, the Tim Cass, the journalist the guy, like he's too, he's like, like I'm not 100% sure, but it kind of feels like there's a fucking civil war brewing, you know, so. It's just yeah. a start. I wouldn't go to America now, even if I pay me. No, I'm happy I'm not in America now. It's just, it's just the way that is, it is. We will sit and keep you abreast. We have to keep see what's happening there yeah maybe next podcast we'll see what we can talk about yeah more in depth isn't it yeah because there'll definitely be some some stuff yeah. happening next week 